everyone and welcome back to my channel so in this video i'm going to be showing you guys a diy hair rinse slash leave-in that can help with hair growth if you are interested in this video then please stay tuned So the first ingredient that you're gonna need for this DIY is going to be half a cup of burdock root. So in a previous video, I made a burdock oil, which I'll leave linked in the cards above. And this is the same burdock root that I used in that video. So you can reuse the burdock root. So when it comes to burdock root, it contains all the necessary amino acids for building protein that helps to create your hair. Also, when it comes to burdock root, it contains vitamins A, which helps to nourish the scalp and strengthen the hair. In addition to promoting hair growth, burdock root also helps with scalp irritation issues, dandruff, and an itchy scalp. The next ingredient is going to be two tablespoons of tulsi leaves. Tulsi leaves, also known as holy basil, is known for its healing properties. It helps to prevent hair loss caused by dandruff and itching or changes to hormonal levels. And the third ingredient is going to be a cup and a half of aloe vera juice. Aloe vera contains vitamins A, C, and E. All three of these vitamins contribute to cell turnover and help promote healthy cell growth. When it comes to aloe vera, it helps to cleanse the scalp so more nutrients can penetrate the hair follicle helping hair to grow faster and more efficiently. So I did forget to mention that I did use this burdock root in a previous video, so it does have some oil on it. So if you want, you can add one teaspoon of olive oil to this hair rinse slash leave-in. So now I'm just gonna add all my ingredients into the mason jar. I'm gonna allow this to sit overnight so that way all the ingredients can infuse into the aloe vera juice. If you want this process to go a little bit faster, you can microwave the aloe vera juice for about one to two minutes and then place it into the mason jar and just wait for it to cool and it'll be ready to go. Or you can take all the ingredients, place it into a pot and then place it on the stove on medium heat and let it boil for about 10 to 15 minutes and then once it's done you'll just remove it from the heat let it cool down and then from there you can strain it and then you have your rinse slash leave in So now it is the next day and this is how the tea rinse looks. So I'm going to go ahead and just strain it and place it into a spray bottle for easier application. So when it comes to the storage of this hair rinse, you could place it into the refrigerator when not in use and it should last two to four weeks. If you want it to last longer than that, you could place it into the freezer and it should last three to six months. So when using this as a hair rinse, you want to apply this all over your hair and scalp after you shampooed your hair because you want to make sure that your scalp is clean. Once you've sprayed it all over your hair and scalp, you're just going to leave it on your hair for about 30 minutes and then you're going to rinse it out and then you're going to follow up with your favorite deep conditioner. So you can do this method whenever it's your wash day. So whether you wash your hair once a week or every two weeks, so it'll just be up to you. So that's how often you should use the rinse whenever it's your wash day. Also, you can use this spray as a leave-in. If you want to use it as a leave-in, um, you can use it two to three times a week. All you have to do is just apply it on your scalp and also all over your hair from root to ends and then make sure you follow up with your favorite hair oil or hair butter or cream so that way you can seal in the moisture thank you guys so much for watching i hope you enjoyed this video don't forget to like share comment and subscribe and i will see you guys in my next video bye